Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two. As you can see, Art and I are with the fabulous Dr. Liz Lister, our font of medical knowledge and good advice in general. Good to see you again, Dr. Liz. Likewise, likewise. Uh, Dr. Liz, we recently had a, a, a piece on semaglutide, but since then, and it was only a short while ago, it has exploded. Yes. Uh, and I'm uh, I'm not promoting one thing or another here or there, but Ozempic was sort of like the key piece of, but there are now like, it seems like a half a dozen of them and they're expensive or not available or side effects. Can you tell us what's going on with that? Yes, absolutely. Well, absol just like you said, it is really gaining traction we talked about it recently as the fact that semaglutide is the active ingredient in the drug Ozempic. Ozempic made famous by Kim Kardashian when she shared that she was on it and lost weight. Of course, that made everybody pay attention. So semaglutide has been FDA approved for diabetes for almost seven years now, since 2017. And it is now... I've been recently realizing that I cannot get it approved unless my patients are all the way to diabetes. I had a good few years, especially before this celebrity uh, made it popular for weight loss. I knew that it had weight loss as a side effect. And I also knew it really helped people with their blood sugars. And I was successfully using it with patients for pre-diabetes and helping them reverse their pre-diabetes. Nowadays, what's happening is it's very difficult to get it covered on people's insurance. It is the active ingredient in one of the drugs that's approved for weight loss, but to your, your point you just said, uh, that medicine is around $1,000 a month. It's really, really crazy. We're, we're living in a really crazy moment uh, with these kind of medications. So what's happening, and what I wanted to share with our audience is that the compounding pharmacies, I work a lot with compounding pharmacies, they have been able to formulate the active ingredient, which is semaglutide, into a suspension. The suspension is a liquid that does not need to be refrigerated. It's very shelf stable. And I have a lot of, uh, there's a lot that I like about using semaglutide suspension. I was just starting to learn about it from various pharmacies only a couple, three months ago. And now all of the company pharmacies are jumping on board. So I've been learning a lot about it and I wanted to share. Well, that, that sounds extremely important because it's the practical, you know, it's the street use. I know that sounds very negative, but it really, when it comes down to the patient use, um, that's the important stuff. How, how do we get it? What does it do for us? That kind of thing. Um, we are fed so much information by the television, mm -hmm. by the pharmaceutical industry, industry, trying to get us to, you know, force our way into this. It's good to know from you um, the perspective of the reality of what it's what it's doing and how to how to use it. So yes, appreciate yeah. that. Absolutely, you bet. As, as we were talking about the regular medical world, unfortunately waits for bad things to happen and oh, then implements the treatment. Yeah. What I am finding with the semaglutide suspension, other some company pharmacies can make it into a sublingual trochee that just dissolves in your mouth under the tongue or between the cheek and the tongue, you wait for it to dissolve. So different forms that are not the once a week shot. The, this does a few things. It really improves the side effect profile. The once a week injection comes in a pen. That's how the mm. official drug Ozempic and others related ones come in a pen and you dial it and you really cannot adjust the dose. So if you're not feeling good, it's hard to go back down. What happens with the suspension, and I actually have some that I can show you because my husband, I'll, I talk with him about things that I'm reading and learning and he says, I want to try that. So he's a good candidate for it. So I have it to share you, share with you. Can I show you? 
Yeah, yeah would love okay. to. Yeah. All right. So mm, this is from one particular pharmacy, different compounding pharmacies, package it up and send it in slightly different ways. So I'll just show you the little bottle. All right. So you, you shake it. Now this is a top. This is not the top it comes with. This is the top that they send you. So after you take off the top that it comes with, which is also sealed on there, then you use this one. All right, so this is this particular form. Another company pharmacy that I work with sends it as a suspension in a bottle, but it has a dropper, it has ah. a dropper. So different yeah. ways to do this. So this pharmacy sends it with these kinds of syringes, no needles, just syringes and so top comes off like that. You shake the bottle, open the top up like this. See if I can do it. And then you can use, uh, I might have to do this like a flight attendant. No, here we go. I can, I can actually show you. So it goes in, you've shaken it, and then you turn it upside down and you can pull it into the syringe. Right. And then you use this under the tongue. That's how ah. this particular way of having the suspension packaged up uh, is used. Either way, regardless of how the suspension is, is sent, the person using it, the patient, can go up slowly. This is what I always instruct. Go up slowly. This one happens to be three times a week. Other regimens can be smaller amounts every day. Okay, so this one's three times a week. And so the first month, this is the usual way with this medication anyway, in any form, is the lowest dose for a month, then the next dose for another month, and then up again on the third month. What I really like, and I think is going to work out really, really well for patients, is that the person can work up really slowly on her dose. If she doesn't feel good, she can dial it back down. Yeah. And she feels fine. She, and I still want her to go a little bit slowly, but she could go up a little more quickly. And then this is the best part. What it does, as we talked about in our other video, one of the ways that this medication works is it slows down stomach emptying and it slows down intestinal transit. That makes you feel full more quickly. It makes you eat less overall. So it helps people control their appetite. And it helps them get in control of their habits. If you're not craving sweet things or salty things, then you can start to make the changes that you know what to do, but it's hard to do when you just feel really hungry. So you can introduce this, get your habits in place, get your weight to where you want it. And then it's not a drug with one dose that you just stop. You can taper it back down. Hmm. as yeah, slowly as you need to that's that's important mm -hmm. so, so i suspect that what's going to happen is that more and more of these things are going to happen it may it come in a lozenge form as you had uh, suggested and that i'm looking forward in about another six months to part three on um, where the state right. of the art is because it does seem to address two of the most deadly costly uh, uh diseases obesity and diabetes. So if we can get those under control, boy, will that make a lot of people yeah. le less miserable and yeah. uh, and uh, get rid of a lot of uh, early deaths due to preventable diseases here now controllable. Yes. You know, yes. Dr. Liz, I think it's important as I was listening to you describe and, and demonstrate the, the various bottles and uh, syringes and things. I think it's important to to remember that we need to do this kind of stuff in conjunction with a doctor advising mm. us. It's not yes. take these pills and call me in the morning. It's did that work for you? How do you feel? Maybe you should increase it by what? How much? Maybe the doctor should tell you that, you know. Exactly. Yeah. I'm excited. Well, thank you. Thank you You're so welcome. much. You know, this has been particularly interesting. You introduced us to a new cutting edge drug nobody would ever heard of. We didn't know what it was. All of a sudden, part two today, it's on the market. It's everywhere. And you can't even get it like you used to. 
and part three, as Art points out. I, I we're looking forward to part three. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Liz. You're welcome. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.